joined me. And we are going to be talking today about the FP Genetics and HK Cattle Gemstones Sale, January 27 to 28, and that is hosted on Cattle in Motion. So Adeline, tell me a little bit about the sale and give us um, like the rundown about how we're going to bid, how, how that all works. Hi, Vicki. Um, I just wanted to say thanks for inviting us and letting us do this. I think what you have going on with Brahmin Journal and just how you promote the Brahmin breed, you know, is continuing to allow breeders to stay connected, especially now with COVID and things um, obviously changing quite a bit um, from that. But uh, just a little bit about the cell. We um, typically have a March production cell that we sell anywhere from 75 to 100 head of cattle. But with COVID this year, we obviously have had to change quite a few um, things. And we're trying to give breeders opportunity to uh, be able to get the genetics that they want. Um, so we're still going to plan on hopefully having some kind of sell in March, but we thought maybe having a sell in January would open up a few opportunities for some people as well. Uh, the sell is going to be hosted on cattleemotion.com. Um, January 27th to 28th, which is this Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, just a little note that you do need to sign up on Cattle Motion for that sale to receive updates. Um, but that's where it's going to be taking place. We're going to have 23 lots. There will be 13 reds and 10 grays. Uh, we have those lots in order by sire groups and ages based off that sire group. Um, but or Eddie or Dinah are all available if you have any questions um, about the lots. We're here to help. And that's just a little bit about the sell. Um, all the terms and conditions are listed on Cattle in Motion as well. Okay, great. Well, that sounds really exciting. So um, Adeline has given me a list and we're going to talk about these cattle by sire group. So Adeline yeah. knows everything about this, and so she's going to be taking care of everything. But first, we're going to talk about that first sire group. So let's talk about the first sire group, which is going to be the HK X-ray lots. That's going to be lot one and two, if I'm correct, Adeline. And, that is correct. Um, yeah, that's going to be lots one and two, correct? That's right. Um, okay. So we're going to go back to this um, photo of HK X-ray. And lots one and two. So tell us about this sire just a little bit, Adeline. So this is going to be the replica of the original X-ray. Uh, we have been so excited here about uh, this bull particularly. We have seen just tremendous calves out of him with a lot of body muscle shape. And on top of that, he carries that extremely docile line that the original did into those calves. And uh, I know Dinah and I always laugh about, you know, how those calves are so similar um, compared to the original. So we decided this is going to be our newest kind of herd sire that we're promoting the most. And um, his quality of calves are just continuing to impress us quite a bit. And so lot one is going to be um, an x-ray by the 129 cow from um, HK Cattle. And she's a steamboat daughter out of the Winchester's full sister. Um, this is going to be just kind of a big and broody, uh, great muscle shape, good bone heifer, really good on our feet and legs. I mean, the genetic capabilities of this heifer are just endless. And so this is going to be our lot one. She's one of my favorites personally and super dog gentle. I know when we were picturing her that we were scratching her and having to move her around just to get her to stop and pose. So she's, um, she's a little puppy dog. <laughs> Okay, so, and then lot two um, is also going to be a HK X-ray uh, daughter, correct? Correct. So, um, this female is going to be out of the X-ray bull in um, the 988, 988 cow from HK. And she is a Winchester daughter as well, but she's also the dam to our high-selling lot in the October online sale. Um so she's been putting tremendous calves on the ground. Uh, this heifer is super long body, very feminine. I think her, you know, possibilities again are endless with this heifer too. Um, but we're really excited about these two x-ray lots. Okay, so those are the only two x-ray lots that you guys are going to have in the sale. Is that correct? 
That's correct. Yes. Okay. So then we're going to move on to the next sire group. And this next sire group is the great Mr. SG111 over one. And I'm going to go back to Adeline. And Adeline, you tell me a little bit about what you think about Jack. <laughs> so maybe a, a, a personal favorite just for um, family reasons. Uh, we had Jack when he was showing and uh, raised him, but Jack was the 2014 international and national champion bull in the uh, 2014 show bull year. I think he was reserve at nationals um, in 2013 as well, but at his first calf crops that showed him uh, a registered renown that first group out. He's also um, the sire of our high selling lot for that 2020 October sale as well as our uh, production cell too. Um, so tremendous calves. We all, always know which ones are jacks just based off the quality that they have. And I think those three lots, four through, uh, I'm sorry, three through five really are good examples of what kind of cattle he's producing. So this is gonna be lot number three. This is gonna be the first of one of his lots, correct? And so this is going to be the HK Miss America 937, uh, and it's lot three, correct? Yep. So this heifer is a November 25th of 2019 heifer. Her dam is going to be the HK Miss 103 cow. So this female is actually a full sib to our um, lot that Asa Lee showed that they bought in the production cell last March. Uh, that sold for 10000 so she is just super broody, good bone, just really a lot to her, cherry red. Um, I think a lot can be said about this lot three female. Um, you know, I think that potential for her is just endless. And then lot four is also going to be a Jack daughter, and this is going to be HK Miss America 938. And it looks like she is out of Miss Primrose 170 over nine. Is that correct? That's correct. And so Primrose was a passport by the Walls 926 Miss Amber cow. Um, so this heifer has just got an outcross pedigree for sure, but just super attractive and gets around the the pasture really well. And, you know, there's just a lot of great things about this female, too. And she's also a late November of 2019. Okay. And then if we move on to lot five, lot five is going to be HK Miss America 946. And then this is going to be the last of the lots that are um, sired by Jack, correct? Correct. Yep. Another uh, November 30th of 19 heifer. You know, this heifer's got a lot of neck extension, good bone, good top. Uh, her dam is going to be the SRS Miss Practice 786 cow, which is a red stroke by that simply red cow. Um, so these females from Jack, I think, are just really open pedigrees, females you can breed up. There's just a lot of potential with these three uh, lots in the gemstone cell. Yeah, no, I think they look great. And Adeline, um, we're going to move on to that next um, sire group. So tell us a little bit about Mr. Carew Manso 800. Yeah, so these are going to be the replica of the original Carew. Um, I think this bull as well, similar to the x-ray bull, you know, he's passing a lot of the same genetics out we have been really incorporating him into the ST herd and he's done a lot of great things for us. Okay, so we're going to look at this bull. Now he is going to have lots six and seven. So he only has two lots in the sale and this is going to be Mr. Carew Manso 800. So let's move on to lot six. This is going to be Miss J and M Petra 377 over nine. Tell us about her. All right, Petra is actually out of the JMM Lady H. Selena Manso cow. We no longer have, um, but she is a former show female. I think Judd showed her for a little while. But she's a shank out of the uh, Karoo and Atari cow cross um, cow called Boston Ginger. Um, but this cow, when you look at her pedigree, you just she's got a lot of breed legends in it, you know, with the Audra cow, Madison, Double Take, Walford. Dakota. Wow. You know, a lot of great leaders in that uh, Brahmin breed, but a female that's got a lot of muscle, a lot of body, just super broody, um, one to really, I think, 
add potential to any herd. Well, that is crazy. I mean, I'm looking at her pedigree um, here and it is extremely impressive. So I think that uh, people should definitely uh, take a look at lot number six because she looks like she's going to be a good one. Well, they all look really good. I want all of them. So let's go to lot seven. Tell us about lot seven. Yes. So a lot seven is kind of one of my standout favorites. You know, she is out of the uh, Miss Jane M. Sexata 152 over one cow, which is a Maddox by uh, that same Boston ginger cow, which goes back to crew and the Atari Jim 225 cow. But also looking at this cow's pedigree, uh, I mean, she's got two maternal merit cows, 13 vanguards and 19 register renown. So another rural pedigree that this uh, lot seven female has, but a female that's just ultra thick and deep body. There's a lot of presence about her. I think she's just a future donor cow for any operation. And I have to say that um, she does. She looks really awesome. And our good friend Marinus is saying hi to us. Um, Adeline, you'll remember him from uh, South okay. Africa. So yep. Marinus, thanks for saying hi. We really are glad you're joining us today to watch um, what's going on at this ST Genetics and HK Cattle Gemstone sale. So we are going to move on to the next sire group. And that next sire group is going to be the HK Mr. America 280. Is that correct? That's correct. So 280, this is going to be the only lot we're offering um, by him uh, in this sale. But 280, we're really starting to see some of his best calf crops here. You know, I think he's just putting a lot of great pieces together. He's a smoking gun son out of a passport daughter, but he's really carrying on those kind of same traits. I think that smoking gun does with the uh, just big bodied and a lot of potential for those cattle. But uh, lot eight is going to be a September 2019 female, but she is just so structurally correct and bold in a rib cage and sound on her feet and legs, heavy muscle, just a really practical package set up for this cow. I think she could breed any way you wanted her to. Um, I know we are retaining uh, one of our full sister to her and ST herd to continue to grow that line. Well, that sounds just super exciting, and I bet you guys are um, pleased to offer her. So we're going to go now to the next sire group. So this here that everyone is seeing on their screen, this is going to be the HK Visa Volunteer Bull, correct? Tell us a little about him. So Visa Volunteer, another bull that we're really using a lot in uh, HK and ST, I think he is just really putting a lot of great females together. He was a sire to one of our top selling lots in Dinah's Red Diamond Cell last month. Um, but he's a Visa Brazil by um, X-Ray, I'm sorry, um, HK Miss Ray 766, which is an X-Ray passport daughter. But I mean, a bull that's really putting a lot of muscle, shape, just a lot of potential with that True red Roman pedigree. Um, we're really excited about this bull. Yeah, and we have more people saying hi to us. So hi back to everybody out there. Hello. So yeah, well, really. thanks for joining. <laughs> so let's talk about lot number nine. So this is going to be the very first lot that you guys are offering of the HK Visa Volunteer in this particular sale. So lot nine is the HK Miss Visa Volunteer 957. Yep. So lots nine through 11 are going to be full sibs. Um, they are all out of the HK Miss America 332 cow. Uh, this cow, personally, she is just putting all the right pieces together for us right now. She goes back to uh, the Miss Ray 780, 787 cow, which just for us has been timeless genetics. But I think this is a heifer that just puts a lot of really great pieces together when she gets out. And moves, you just have to appreciate how catty she is and just holds her head pretty and high. And, you know, she's got all the performance traits, um, you know, physically. She's just, man, she's so feminine. I really like this heifer quite a bit. She is. She's beautiful. And that video of her and then, of course, the photo of her. Um, you know, yeah. she just has some great muscling and looks really good. So how about, um, so we're saying that lot 10 is a full, that this lot, 9, 10, and 11 are all full sieves. Is that correct? That is correct. Yes, okay. ma'am. Uh, right. So another September of 2019 female, I think 
Martine is also one of my personal favorites. You know, she's just fun to watch when you watch her video and, you know, you're just thinking about how much quality she has. But, you know, looking at her pedigree too, you're seeing a lot of just generations of true red brown eating, you know, with Visa Brazil and the X-ray uh, original bull passport. And there's just so much potential for pedigrees like that in any breeding herd to me, but I just truly like this 332 Visa Volunteer Cross. I think they're just putting a lot of long body, good muscled, um, feminine females together. Yeah, and so we're gonna move to lot 11 and hello Hector, um, Hector's shouting out to us and we appreciate that. So again, you can go to Cattle in Motion. Um, the sale lots are up. It's, this, it's called the Sexing Technologies and HK Cattle Gemstones online female sale there. But uh, we just want to say thank you, Adeline, for joining us. And we're going to keep going through these cattle. So we're going to be talking about lot number 11. Now, lot 9, which will go back to lot 10 and lot 11 are all full sibs. So um, you can tell they are. They all look great. So tell us about lot 11. Thanks. Um, so lot 11 is going to be actually the younger uh, full sib. She's a November 30th of 2019. So she's too much younger than uh, 9 and 10. But I mean, the quality is definitely there. I think she's got potential for any breeding program that wanted to use that pure red genetics. But a female that's super clean underneath, great on her feet and legs. I think she's just going to continue to grow and be super feminine and uh, one that is going to stand out in that front pasture for you. Absolutely. No question about that. We just want to remind everybody, all of these cattle have video on Cattle in Motion. We just didn't have time to bring you all the video today. Now here's a beauty and she is going to be the last HK Visa volunteer daughter, I believe that you have in this particular sale. And this is lot 12, which is HK Miss Visa volunteer 977. Correct. So uh, this is going to be a little different, not much pedigree wise, but uh, lot 12 is going to be out of the HK Miss Ray 787 cow, which is the Dan to lots 9 through 11's mother. Um, so oh, but, wow. So still still related, but in a different sort related. of way. <laughs> um, but I think lot 12 is just a super feminine, a lot of style, bone, muscle shape. I mean, the genetics are there that with that super red pedigree. Um, I think a female though, that just, when she gets out and stops, she just, she really catches your eyes. Um, but a heifer we're really excited about here. Okay. Well now we're going to move into some gray. And so we're going to go to a different sire lot and this is going to be a group. This is going to be lots 13 to 20 that you can find on the gemstone sale. And this is going to be the Mr. H. Bogota Manso. This bull is just tremendous. And I have to say that the Brahmin Journal um, in 2019, we listed him as our number three. And then also um, the number seven for like having the most progeny uh uh, register. So in 2019, in the one year, he was number three. And then on a five-year basis, he was number seven as the most influential herd sire. And he has just done a tremendous job and does great with both um, cattle that are showing, but also performance. So talk to us a little bit about Mr. H. Bogota. Yes. Thank you, Vicki. Um, you know, I personally really love when y'all put that in the Brahmin Journal. It, it's really fun for me to go back and look but especially being a part with ST and helping with HK you know to see the stars that we have um, in there so that's fun for us but Bogota is a, a bull that man we just have countless calves that we just really stand out to us and he was the sire of the junior champion at nationals in 2020 um, but he's a Maddox son out of um, a Swanner cow but a bull that just really packs in the muscle and the shape and just all his females have just really stood out to us here. And, you know, cattle with good bags, um, which is very important, but um, we really like our Bogotas for sure. Um, well, let's go on. So we have, this is going to be your first Bogota that you're going to have in the sale. And this is going to be lot 13, correct? Correct. 
And so this is going to be an August of 19 female. Um, she is out of the 219 cow uh, at ST, and sh which that cow is a shank out of um, a Callian cow that goes back to that Mendel de Callian bull. Um, but lot 13 is a got a lot of muscle, extremely long sided, good top, good inner lines. I mean, just endless potential with her here. Her pedigree, um, I know I've had a lot of fun with the new Brahmin searches, just looking at that five generation pedigree, but exactly. that five, yeah, that five generation pedigree has 12 registered read nouns, 12 vanguards, two maternal uh, performance sires and a maternal merit cow. So she's got a lot of great things going for her. I think she's going to be just a really good replacement female um, in any operation. And then we go on to lot 14. This is also going to be a Bogota daughter. And this is going to be lot 14, Miss J&M Flora, 385 over 9. Correct. So lots 14 through 17 are going to be full sieves as well. Um, they are out of the cow that is called Boston Ginger 228 over 1, which is a replica, too, of the original Boston Ginger. Um, so that cow is actually goes back to the original Carew and the Atari Gym 225 cow. Uh, all three of those on a five generation pedigree have 12 vanguards, 18 register renowns, and two maternal merit cows. So, I mean, a big pedigree for those three lots. But lot 14, I think, is a female. She's super clean underneath, clean fronted, um, long body, just really moves out and travels very well. When you watch her video, you can see. But when you go back and look at her pedigree, too, and we're looking at EPDs, she's and the top 25% are greater for 11 traits. So, I mean, possibilities are endless for lot 14. Yeah, you know, these are just some tremendous looking cattle all the way around. I've been looking at them um, since we've talked about discussing them, and I'm just super impressed by everything. They just look so good. So this is lot 15. And so you're saying that, did you tell me that lot um, 13, 14, and 15 are full sibs? Is that correct? That is Correct. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And what about lot 16? She's also a full sip? 16 too, sorry. Okay. Yay. Okay. So here we're talking about lot 15 and we have a little bit of her video here. Um, but again, you guys can go on Cattle in Motion and see video on all of them. So let us know a little bit about this lot 15. Yep. So as we're watching this video, I think we can see a clear representation of what that Bogota bull does as far as just putting that muscle shape in body and just functionality of those cattle. Uh, lot 15 is going to be an August of 19 heifer. Um, she is just a lot of potential for brood cow, just a very unique style, deep body, just really stout made. Um, again, she's got a lot of cool things in her pedigree as far as Maddox, Carew, Dakota, Double Take, that Atari 225 cow. You know, when you blend that pedigree and phenotype together. It's just, that's a good female in my wow. opinion. Yeah, no, she is um, really amazing looking and uh, really, really walks well. So make sure you guys go and watch all the videos because we didn't have time to load them all up. So we're going through the photos and talking to you about these cattle. But remember, Cattle in Motion is where you're going to find this sale. And the sale starts on the 27th and ends sure. on the 28th. So don't forget that. So this is lot 16, and this is a um, full sister also. So so this is the last full sib, correct? So again, full sister to 14 and 15. Um, but I think a heifer, you know, when you look at her and you're going to watch the videos, just a heifer with a, a lot of muscle shape, big bone, tremendous quality. And then when you go in and you look at her EPDs, you're not disappointed because she's in the top percent or greater for 13 of the 18 EPDs as well. So I think those lots are just really standouts for those Bogotas and um, we're really excited about them. And they're just so thick and beefy. They're just amazing. So here we're moving on to lot number 17 and it is also a Bogota daughter and this is going to be out of Miss J&M Sexata 762 over 4 which is sired by Mr. V8 189 over 4. Correct? Correct. Yes. And so 189 um, is also the star of the infamous, you know, 109 from V8. Or I'm sorry, 901 over 4 from V8. Um, uh -huh. But the 762 cow is a 189 over 4 out of a Liberty Daughter. So oh, this wow. cow, 
a big, big pedigree as far as gray Brahmin genetics go. But I think a heifer that's just super striking in her appearance. She's clean fronted, extra length in the side, and really good on her feet and legs. But just a heifer that puts together a lot of style and power and performance that I think is going to make her a great donor potential. Absolutely, no question. And then we have lot 18 that's going to be still in the same sire group of the Mr. H. Bogota. And so this is going to be the Miss um, J and M Wilma 413 over 9, which again you guys can find on Cattle in Motion. And it, don't miss it. That sale is from the 27th to the 28th. So it's just coming up. Um, so make sure you visit Cattle in Motion. Tell us about lot seven, uh, lot 18, please. So lot 18 is a November of 2019 female, but a heifer that's got a lot of depth of body functionality. You know, one that I think is going to continue to grow and have a lot of good pieces to her. Her dam is going to be the Miss Jane M. Sexata 700 over four, which is a power stroke daughter out of um, our Remington cow. So another great pedigree for her. Um, but just I think her better days are going to be ahead in that pasture producing females. She's just got a lot of things that are mated correctly for her to do so. Absolutely. And then we still have two more Bogota daughters to talk about. We have lot 19, which is Katie. And um, she looks great in this picture. So Katie's probably one of my favorite grays in the lot. Of, you know, like one of those ones you either start the cell with or she's got to be, you know, somewhere in the mix. But Katie is just one of those that I don't know if we're going to offer anymore like this just because her dam is now dead. But her dam is going to be the dam to our Remington cow that's been very popular for us. So the Reisinger cow. Um, but timeless genetics are in Katie's pedigree. You know, this heifer is just really good top, long body, super eye catching. She's just, to me, one of those ones that I actually asked one, do we need to sell this heifer? Because I thought so much of her in person. Um, I think she is going to make a really good donor for anybody that gets to purchase her. No question about that. And I know that, uh, um, the Bogota genetics are just doing tremendous. You see them both in the pasture as well as in the show ring. So they really can go so many different directions. And then this is going to be the last female that is um, a Bogota daughter that's going to be offered in the sale. And this is going to be lot 20 on the Cattle in Motion sale on January 27th and closes on the 28th. So you guys need to make sure you mark your calendars. Tell us about lot 20. So lot 20 is going to be a Remington, which is a crew, the original crew in that rising deer cow. But um, Remington and Bogota, I mean, those two mated, we have endless cattle that just really put all the right pieces together. I think when you watch lot 20's video, you can really see how that matchup has just worked for us time and time again. You know, she's super thick, clean fronted, all the right lines are offered in lot 20. She's just one that really grabs your attention. But pedigree wise, we're talking 13 vanguards, 14 registered renowns, two maternal merit cows and a maternal performance sire. So I think, again, these Bogota females are just really bred to elite cows that are going to make great donors for anybody who is able to get them. Yeah, no question about that. And now we're getting down to the last three. So this is going to be our last sire group that we're going to talk about. And this is going to be the, um, the sire group HK Mr. America 355. So we're going to have yeah. lot 21, lot 22, and lot 23 are going to be his daughters that you're going to be selling, correct? Correct. So 355 is going to be a bull that is sired by TR Mighty Bruce and out of a passport daughter. Um, if you're friends with Dinah on Facebook, this is her profile picture sire. So um, a bull that just really, we haven't used him very often, but when we do, I think we've rate, mated him to the right females and uh, you can see them here, but just really good potential for these calves in any program. So this is going to be lot 21. This is the first of the three daughters of HK Mr. America 355 that are going to be selling. So tell us about Serendipity 963. 
Yes, so 963 is a November of 2019 female. Um, she is out of HK Miss Sage, which is a passport daughter as well, but um, a female that's got really good rib cage, big top, clean in her lines. You know, I think she's just going to continue to move forward and have that really good presence. Her pedigree just includes like Stingray, the Apache Bull Passport, the 61 over 9 cow. So, I mean, there's a lot of great things about this female in Lot 21. Yeah, no, she looks great. And uh, just love all the deep red color and all of these really pretty girls and yes. that are red, of course. So, here we have Lot 22. Um, this is going to be Serendipity 969. Yes. So, this is a November 23 of 2019 female. Um, her DNA is going to be HK Miss America 930, which is a 787 daughter by a Visa Brazil son. So another female with a great pedigree, but this had her super long, good red, moves like a cat in that pasture, you know, just super functional and stylish. And a heifer that I think has a lot of capabilities to continue to produce those red Brahmin genetics. And last, of course, but not least, so we have... 23 lots, I believe, that you're selling total. And so this is Correct. the last lot, and this is going to be the last daughter of HK Mr. America 355 that you're selling in this particular sale. And believe it or not, guys, her name is Serendipity also, but she's Serendipity 976. Yes. So 976 is going to be out of the HK Miss Passport 476, which when Dinah was helping me with footnotes, she just said, you know, so many people wanted to buy that cow, but we kept her. Um, but she's a direct daughter of the passport bull out of um, SRS Miss Practice 786, which is a passport daughter as well. Or, I'm sorry, 786 goes back to Red Stroke and that simply red cow. Uh, so a genetic powerhouse here, but this female is just super attractive, heavy bone, deep sided, big tops. And of course, cherry red, um, which we think is very important. But I think a heifer that, you know, can continue to breed those red Brahmin genetics um, for any operation, honestly. Absolutely. So I'm going to come back and bring um, Adeline back into um, the screen here. And we're just going to say thank you guys for joining us. Adeline, that was great. You gave us a lot of information and the cattle look great. The reds are deep cherry reds. Um, the grays are absolutely beautiful. Really impressed with all of them. And that's going to be online at Cattle in Motion. That's January 27 through 28. Am I right there, Adeline? Correct. So it'll be on Cattle Motion. We are going to go live um, the 27th, like you said. The sale ends on the 28th at 7. But obviously with online sales, they continue a little bit longer. If people keep bidding. I know the bidding is in increments of $250. Um, you do need to sign up for the sale um, in order to receive updates. But again, uh, Eddie, Dinah, or myself are available if anybody has any questions. We're really looking forward to it. And I just want to say thank you to you, Vicki, for allowing us to jump on and talk about it. I think this is a great platform for people to continue to spread the Brahmin genetics when it's a little difficult to meet in person. So we really do appreciate you having us. That is great. It's really great to have you. And you spoke so well about all the cattle and had so much information to give everyone. So remember, we're going to go back and we're going to remind you guys that this is going to be the gemstone sale, January 27, 28. We have a shout out to Miss Dinah. Hopefully she got to watch and Adeline did a great job and thanks for joining us and make sure you go visit their sale hosted on Cattle in Motion. Thanks, Vicki. Thanks, Adeline. Bye. Bye.